you are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't...
opened my case. With Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Longlegs from Playtime Co. What's the time? I promise I won't bite.
listen. I'm going to need you to trust me. playing musical memory. See you in a bit.
birthday you! June 28th. <laughs> Make a wish. Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck.
in fine day.
Welcome to Wacka Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. another hint for you.
before. You're so good. Seems like you're ready for the final game, statues. Follow mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next time. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. It was always so sad to see the kids go. They called me Mommy because I was the closest thing they ever had to one. But they come for games and never come back. They left Mommy to die alone. Mommy didn't deserve that. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone,
You cheated! Oh, great cheaters! Now, we're going to play one last game! It's called Hide and Seek! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two.
you kill her? Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave.
What's the time?
Bumblefint. Hey, I remember you. An elephant always remembers. Want to know what I remember about you? to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May Playcare bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? Anyways, do you see that statue? 
statue in the middle of the room? Take the stairs that go under it. There's a really cool room in there that powers literally all of Playcare. I can give you a key down there. Zone, the beating heart of the whole evil play care system. All that gas you see coming from the machine is made right here in the factory. It's called the Red Smoke. Right now, it's all headed off to the right. We need to make that Red Smoke go left instead. That's how we can get to him. The machine will probably have a few dumb safeguards for you to work around, but I think you can do it. I'll call you once it's done.
Tragic news this morning, as of 9.45 a.m., local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig, an esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. At this time, awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, It's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man, and those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence. Let him know. Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, May you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat 
and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left, a world that's theirs now. Welcome home. Subject is stable. Designated 1322. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I. What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I. I. Yes. Kevin is very sick. Very, very sick. We want to make him better, but he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. Well, do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. We said that what we do is stuff. We paid attention in school, learned, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now, let's get you on back to bed. Oh, okay. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be all right. When you see him again, he'll have never been better.
Piggy Piggy. Let's eat. Grilled beef? Delicious. Grilled chicken? Down the hatch. Seared elephant? Yum! Played unicorn? Mmm! Still hungry. Hey, what do you say you and I be friends? Hi there, I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat.
wrong. We're actually here to help. <sighs> this place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. You've been through so much. You deserve an explanation. Come on. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. you leave what's happening down here is bigger than all of us and I need you so we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you who've tortured us they didn't act alone they're disciples of the original the prototype do the honors Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you, how capable you are. You killed Huggy, you killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you.
This is Miss Delight speaking. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seats until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. you? Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Hmm? Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the Earth around the equator is almost 25,000 miles. The smallest bone in your body is the states in your ear. Still, damage it, and you risk losing your hearing. Want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects.
Wanna try hopping to the moon with me? On three with me. One, two, three! Again. One, two, three! Listen, this won't stop until we make it to the moon. One, two... Oh no! Don't look at your feet! None of that matters! Again! Again! Jump! Jump! Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. Hello, my name is Elliot Lundberg. When you look around... I take it you're not a fan of this place, are you? Nope. Never liked the feel of it. I mean, don't you think these kids deserve some real sunlight instead of floodlights and painted skies? Hell, we're not even allowed to talk to these kids. Isn't that... <clears throat> Sorry, Stu. Sorry? <laughs> that doesn't sound like the rich I know. Well, trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. My wife says I'm a lovely man, but I gotta control my temper. So, I'm doing it for her. <laughs> uh, you're just different, rich. Honest to a fault. But, uh, I always liked that about you. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're one of the few. Uh, you know, Richie, with my retirement coming up, uh, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. I'm thinking about giving the role to you. But, uh, really? Really? Nothing official yet, but I think there's a decent guy beneath all that graph. An honest, hard-working man. You prove me right, I say your chances are pretty good. Wow, I, uh, jeez, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody.
You're a Papi's angel. Come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Bird catnaps from angel. There, home. A million pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching. Waiting. Hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little bit. <laughs> Fill what feels empty inside themselves. That thing. Catnap. The prototype is his god, and this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catnap to avoid that very fate. And in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototype's control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run. No! Leave me! Please! Just go! Run! They says, fetch! Go, go! As far as you can! Why are you just standing there? You can't be here. You can't stay. Dog Day says, fetch!
office instead. It's not ideal, but it should have enough juice. If you can get that generator going and plug it in, I think we'll be done. And keep your eyes open for catnap. Every shadow and every flickering light is a hiding spot. He always stalks his prey first. He'll take away anything you have to defend yourself. And when you're at your most vulnerable, he'll kill you. Catnap lives for the hunt. Good luck. Talk soon.
then. Come on in. Please have a seat. How was your ride down? It was uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was, well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know you're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yes, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing. You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? <laughs> what kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says... testing. <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graber, we deserve a better explanation than that. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry.
doing. to end this.
Deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co workers. You want to know what happened and why. This. This is your answer. We called it the Hour of Joy. was all over. They dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. The prototype has to die for this. For everything. As we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! <sighs> Alright. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something...